Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored to you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Alright, I'm looking for... Alright, here it is. Yep, vamos. Atom Duckless. Alright, Lana or Elf. Always happy to have Kaya's Breath against Lana or Elf. It's been a while since I've played it. Since I've played, uh, since I played standard, but yeah, we we gotta grind. It's it's new season time. It's new season time. Good morning, nearly fourteen. Oh, I just realized that I haven't tweeted anything. All right, let's. With the thing first. I have some arena and then some creep breakers. Mm -mm -mm. All right, got an oath of Kaya here. A lot of Kaya the elf. It will take me slightly more damage, but uh, so this way my opponent can't play like it in uh, a planeswalker next turn or something. Basically, all we want all we want them to play is uh, just a creature, not our killing phoenix though. Don't let ferrets would be ideal. All right, and we have to Kaya's Wrath. We can't really get get cute here by waiting. Good morning, Thamos. Good morning, good morning. All right, I play Rip Jar Raptor. That is pretty bad. This card is not great against Esper. That's why I hated it in the main deck. I don't think this card is good in the main deck. It's because it's too weak against Esper. Esper time. All right, so we got a Thorn Lieutenant and a Domri, which all mean that I am 12 life. I think I am going to go for uh, cast for, for Basilica Bell Hound. This one can get bigger, but I have cast down up. I can also consider going Thought Erasure just to get this cry out. Good morning, Qualquaqui. Good morning, Theo. And what do they discard? Oh, a Rowanus. That is, that, is, that is pretty nice. So I can go Thought Erasure here, just to scry. And then I'll untap two lands, and then I'll have a cast down up. That is what I'm gonna do. All right, that's fine. We just waste the Thought Erasure, but let's say there was a land on top, then it wouldn't, wouldn't be wasted. All right, Killing Phoenix on the stack. That is pretty good indeed. So what I'm gonna do here is just to cast down the Rekindling Phoenix and then just... Um... So let's see, wow, they fight. So I could consider also just uh, just letting the fire resolve and then casting down the Thorn Lieutenant. And then I'll bounce the... Then I'll bounce the Elemental. Alternatively, if I cast down now, I just think that the Basilica Bell Hound is just not that good. So I'm just gonna let this resolve. I'm gonna let my opponent attack the fairy, drain for two, and then I'll bounce the token. And then I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Okay, guys? So that is, like, my opponent chose to make this play, which is, like, weird. But I think I'm going to just exploit it and not just un answer with a classic cast down in response. I think of Grulagra. I've never liked Grulagra. I always thought that... Esper, Esper, Esper Control was uh, very favorite against it. Many people are playing here, of course, you know, those versions are better against it. So it really depends on what on, on what version you, you set on. But generally, generally, um, all right, I can also just bounce the Oath of Kaya, but I'd rather just put a 3-4, because that blocks very well the Zealot Warrior. I guess my opponent does have a Ripjaw Raptor to fight my Basilica Bell Hound. So it is maybe better that I just bounce my Oath of Kaya and shoot the Elemental. That is maybe better. Yeah, I don't really want to play Basilica Bellhound in the face of a Ripjaw Raptor plus a Domri. I'm going to do Streamer Preview event. Yeah, I am. 
I am. It'll be it'll be nice. I, I want to play. If you guys have any 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 like cool ideas on what to play, I'm very interested because I want to play for sure Grixis Bolas with New Chandra. This is for sure a deck that I want to play. I'll put now considered, but it was it wasn't over yet. It was not over yet. All right. So against Gruul, against Gruul, what is? What is that we want? We want binding, we want two Lyras, we want to cast down, we want these sparks and Kaya's breath. We're gonna cut Narsets, Command Dread Horde, and two Elder Spell. Chandra Tribal deck. Uh the one of three mana doesn't 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 seem is it that good? Honestly, I don't. I haven't. I haven't seen that many new cards. That's why I. I was kind of interested in in hearing your opinion. Unfortunately, Wizards play, made a modern PT though. Chandra Code of Flame. Yeah, I don't know. The card has potential, but you need to. You need to find it, right? It's it's, it's not that easy to find potential on that card. All right, this is fine. It is not fine. Parnas Druid is very good against cast down, so we're gonna play Clatial Fortress and pass the turn. Yeah, I restock I, I wanna I wanna do that. I'm not sure, you know. Let's see if our opponent Ideally, they just add mana and attack. If they play a 2 3, not it. Uh, they, they, they play very well up there. Very well played by my opponent who does not uh, attack or or do anything with the part of this druid. Elemental Tribal. Good morning, people. Elemental Tribal. It, it is, it is, you know. It is a deck. All right, I'm gonna go for Basilica Bellhound here. It's very likely my opponent is just gonna slam a an Immortal Sound next turn. Well, actually, no, they could have slammed this this turn, so I don't know what do they have. They have a part is Druid and not playing it. That's, that's interesting. I don't understand why, honestly. All right, it's a Guru Spellbreaker. That is a 5 4. But I'm not a fan of Guru Spellbreaker. I think this card is very medium. All right, but it does kill my Basilica Bellhound, so there's that. And then they attack this time around. I'm not gonna play Kaya's Breath here. I have uh, I have the Fairy Plus and Cast Down. It is like one of the most powerful play that this, that this deck can made can make. And uh, you know the, the way to stop this is by playing your own the Fairy Time Raveler. And if you don't play it, your deck will be usually weaker than other people decks. That is unfortunately the rules of Magic the Gathering. All right, so we passed the turn here with the fairy. I got my plug to plug in the computer that I always forget to do, but did but today I did remember to open up Deck Master. So there's that. All right, so I did nothing. Classic, classic group flooding out. They probably have like some collision colossus and such in their hand. We're gonna come and channel the booster elementals. Wow, that is that is a pretty big raid to start a day. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just started off with what I think is the best deck in standard. And I appreciate a lot your, your raid. I hope you had a good stream. I don't know what format you play, you played you played Legacy, you played Arena, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I usually start my streams with uh, with Arena and then move to something else like Magic Online in these days. But tonight I will do the... Tonight, sorry. This afternoon I will do the M20 standard. You played Legacy? Wow, that's nice. That's nice. All right. So I'm gonna go for the Thunder Razor. It's very likely that my opponent just has nothing in their hand. My, my assumption is they have Collision Colossus, but it might not be right. 
if Dom were. Yeah, that was another card that I could have had. Alright. Cast down, it's okay. I'll untap two lands, do nothing with them, though. Might be scary. Is M20 coming off today? It isn't, but the streamers have the early access, which means that Wizards of the Coast is uh, uh, giving the opportunity to, to some content producer to play with a uh, full stoked account uh, and just play Arena. All right, Cinder Vines. I'm not a fan of Cinder Vines, usually. Like, if you think about it, Cinder Vines is... Uh, is like the curse that plays in Pauper, you know, that deals, you know, very little damage, very little time. So it's not it's not a good card. Like people's sideboard is way too much, in my experience. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. Uh my hand is, you know, pretty good, and I think I want to just keep this hero for a very long time. And since my opponent has some haste creature like that, might have like a charge of monsters or, or a scargonel kite. I'm going to go for Kaya's Wrath here, so that I can play around them top decking a hasty creature with my cast down. We're just going to have Legacy GP, yeah. Yeah. I guess I was, uh, when Channel Fireball told me, I, I was very happy. I was very happy. Yeah, Bologna will be Legacy. Uh, I'm not sure if you will have the stream, probably not, because, you know, Europe, it's much harder to make... Uh, I honestly don't know how it works, but you know, Channel Fireball deal, uh, you know, make sure that things work right now for coverage. It's not anymore about wizards, so I think their uh, their their resources might be just more uh, USA centric. So I'm not sure that we will have a stream, uh, but it will still be a very very good opportunity to play some 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 great magic. Here, same thing. I'm gonna play Thought Erasure. It's pretty bad because also take one point, but it doesn't really matter. I'd rather just cry. And discard a card. All right, Oath of Kaya. Uh, this is on seven loyalty. I think it's better to draw Oath of Kaya than draw just drawing any card, just a random card. So I'm gonna take it on top. Despite you know, we have some like good 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 card to draw. For Cyber, it, it often goes like this. You just take control and then you just don't cl quite close finish it. Don't quite finish it off the game. So that's why you need like Search for Ascanta. That's why I kept in two Search for Ascanta. Red Grey with no hand, it isn't that over, it isn't that over. I mean, it's very likely to be over, but uh, Esper floods a lot in this matchup, so unless you draw that search for Ascanta... Wait, what's happening here? What am I missing? They're fighting? Oh, I, th I think they just surrender with this play. I think this is just a play to surrender. I think Mr. Asteria is gonna explode now. They're gonna be like, okay, I've done enough. Oh, see the right sacrifice it to itself? All right. No, they don't explode yet. Oh, why? Why, opponent? Oh, magic players. Magic players. Where can I find the deck list? Command shows the wrong deck. It's here. Deck list. All right. I just wish my opponent... Uh, would have surrendered after last turn, but it seems like they keep on playing it. Yeah, the guy must having zero fun. Yeah, it was not. It was not. Uh, it was, it's not a very fun play. I guess, I guess people have different ideas on what's fun and what's not. No, I couldn't have thought that. It's such a... I don't get why did... Yeah, I understand. I don't get it as well. Why you wouldn't do such a thing and then not surrender? I agree. Alright, unfortunately we have to kill them. And I guess we got kind of lucky to draw two Bellhound to do so. Because other ways it could have taken a long time if we didn't find them. Yeah. All right, so two more turns of our opponent making suboptimal plays. Let's see what it'll be. Oh no, it is gonna give them so many decisions now. Yeah. All right, they play Dahmer and they don't use it. That is fine. I guess, I guess this way we're gonna do all, all our quests. Maybe they want to complete quests, maybe. We, we, we also want to do that, so it's okay. That was also our goal, so it's not a big deal. Mm. 
Yeah. Alright. <sighs> Carney T. That would have been a good draw. <laughs> uh, opponent. Alright. Opponent uh, does the things and then and then takes the lethal damage. Alright, they successfully made us kill them, which is, I guess, a thing that they are allowed to do. Play five color Niv and you always complete your quests. That's true. That's true. I did not consider that. All right. We are getting through our quest making. Do you have a cut butler that serves you tea in the morning? No. I, I, I used to drink coffee. To drink coffee with milk. And then I bring a bottle of water in my room. Oh, I'm playing against Brad Nelson. That is sweet. Is he streaming? Is he streaming? He isn't. All right, that, that, that is a cool game. All right, we can talk, we kick things off with a mulligan. What about a big Teferi? I think the big Teferi is better than a land. We're on the draw here. I'm gonna say hello to my opponent and I'm gonna keep saying hello until he answers. I'll say hello. Good luck with the stream, but I won't stay here and watch Asper Control. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Blueberry. Have a good night. Alright, I'll keep on playing my, my thing on curve. Where is Brad Nelson wrapped uh, up at right now? It's Isn't it midnight in the East Coast? So it's not that bad, right? I'm playing as uh, uh, Sultan. No, what is it? Abzan. Okay. All right, this is my second search. It's gonna go in the bin. I did add the second search for a fourth cast down. Yeah, I know, but he lives in uh, Seattle right now. He moved to Seattle. He covered the old, uh, I don't know if you guys, you should guys really listen to You should guys really listen to... Ooh, that's a lot of colors for my opponent. You guys should really listen to... What is it called? Uh, Bash Bros Podcast. They, 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 they say a lot of things. All right. This matchup should be actually pretty bad here. All right. This, it's been a while since I've played against four color, uh, four, four color Dreadhorde. And Tamiya is such a beating that I totally forgot about her. And I was almost <laughs> going to thought of her them. Yeah, I am pre I'm playing versus Bread. Why Esper? I think Esper is the best deck in the format. It was the best deck for Mythic Championship 3. And uh, I don't think much have changed. Maybe. I, maybe I never just missed it. But the, 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 the ranking just reset. And, um, you know. Esper dies with the new change, right? Does it die? Just because they give you a token? Yeah, uh, an emblem? It might. I can't. I can't wait tonight to play to play New Chandra. I'm gonna play Grixis Bolas with a New Chandra. Chandra Awakened Inferno. This one, this one over here. This deck can be countered. Each opponent gains an emblem. It's very great. It's plus two. You give an emblem to your opponent. Minus three gives three damage to each. So basically, it's like a an anger of the gods, basically similar than like Exile. And then this one deals creature planeswalker. So you know. Yeah, this this black horse walker is, is 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 insane. I can't wait to play with it. All right, uh, I'll just basically sacrifice the fairy to bounce the Tamio. That is obviously an awful play because the fairy dies, but I have no ways to deal with Tamio. For twenty here in Brazil, yeah, yeah. My 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 stream schedule isn't really Brazil friendly. I know that, unfortunately. I know, but my stream schedule is usually from now, 9, 9 a.m. I just started it from 20 minutes, since 20 minutes. And then I usually stream up until uh, 1 p.m. Hey, Mango, which of the M20 card would you pick as the best of the set? Again, I haven't really looked too much into it, but I think China Rick and Inferno is definitely the card that got my attention. This is a sweeper that Red really needed. Because the problem with Grixis Bolas, in my opinion, was that it didn't have any, like, Kaya's Wrath effect. Of course, Kaya's Wrath costs 4 and this one costs 6. But you also have, like, like, Grixis Bolas was a good deck. The only problem that it had was that, 
First, he didn't have any sweeper, and second, he didn't have any answers to, uh, to experimental frenzy. All right, so opponent played again, and uh, Tommy is back on top, so I think I can successfully surrender in this game. Where do you find my deck list? My deck list is here. What do you think of the no ranked mode for historic? I think it's fine. I don't think I don't think wizards should uh, should support such format. I think wizards it's fine that the format exists, but it doesn't it shouldn't really support as it is right now because they want to you know to buy the new cards and not just stuck with the old cards or they make the same mistakes that they, they did with modern where they support a lot of modern and then just just people just play modern forever and don't play other formats. What do you think about the sixth color that I sent you on Twitter? I think it's a weird thing, but I don't know. They're probably just a new panel. All right, uh, we need answers for uh, Tamio because that that card is great. I don't like binding against the fairy though. Imagine they go Tamio minus two. You go binding on the Tamio, and they go to fairy bounce binding, and then just reset their Tamio. It's very bad. It's a it's an awful situation to be in. Alright, I think I want Thief of Sanity as well, though. Even though, again, it's pretty bad against the Fairy. Later in the game, this could be a threat. Uh, what do we want to cut? Bellhound is pretty bad against uh, Tamio. I guess I could cut the entire load of Bellhounds. And they have Kaya's Wrath up to 4. And he cut entirely cast down. I think this configuration is ideal against the deck, against the green deck. This is probably what I would sideboard against the Sultai Dreadlord. I need help. Going to Bologna in November. I need to learn some Italian. You, you need to learn some Italian to travel. You don't need to learn every language you travel into. It's, it's you know, yeah, I mean, Italian might not speak English good enough, but you can, you can make yourself understand. Nice, nice. But we can't... We can't even sell our old cards. That's a short-sighted our opinion, Emo. I don't think so. You've played with your cards for a very long time in standard, and now you get another opportunity to play them in another format. It is what it is. It is what it is. I think. Uh, I think uh, it's. I think it's exactly how it should be. The cards that rotate out, you could play them, but that will be that. That will you know worth less because that's the same thing that happens in real. Right. Uh, do you want to play Enter God Eternals over Lyra? I disagree. I think Enter God Eternals, what it does is pretty marginal. If you're playing the Stibalt, it doesn't really do what it should really do. And it's very bad against, uh, you know, Lava Coil and such. Whoever is Lyra, it's just a beating. All right, I played the Fairy and Plus it. What's your favorite Italian dish? Ask Rooney Cape. I'm going to spam you with three emoji that I have. That emblem, that are the emblem of the three best food in Italy, in my opinion. But why shouldn't that format have a ladder? Oh, I understand. Um, why the format shouldn't have a ladder? I guess because once again they don't wanna, they don't really wanna just push people playing a format that doesn't reward buying new cards. They want you to buy new cards, you know. So they want you to just have a, just just play standard instead of a, you know. Basically, the eternal of uh, of arena. I'm gonna bounce the jade light. That is usually not a great play because they're gonna use it again. But they have Narset at the ready, so I'm happy to just uh, to just do that. All right, I'm gonna take command the dreadlord. That is one of the best card in the matchup because basically it's that's why I don't like these decks anymore because Esper basically morphed into kind of a mirror match. They do have Tamiya, which is very hard. Why is a singleton a full time on arena? We need Brawl or Commander. I don't understand why Local Champion wants so many random formats. I think I think Standard and it's it's just great. It's been great for like three months and it's gonna be great forever. It's, I don't know. They have some rotating format. They have like Omniscience Draft, they have Throwback Draft and etc. All right, they play uh, Vraska, which is which is very good. Uh, by uh, she's very good at killing Planeswalkers. But we do play the better Planeswalker in the Fairy Hero Dominaria. And I even on top with the Spark, though... Wait, wait, wait. I did the combo of the Fairy plus the Fairy, which is a pretty good combo. The Fairy plus the Fairy plus Tony Razor on turn 5. It is, it is a sweet combination. Our right, opponent has 8 cards in hand, which is a very big amount. Uh, all their hand is, you know, full of good cards. I could take Tamio. 
and uh, and then just go command the dreadlord. How do you guys think about that? I don't have a land to do that, but hopefully I will draw it. I have three draws next turn to do so. So I think I'm gonna take Tamio here because I can get because the turn next turn I can get back Thought Erasure with the Tamio and then untap two lands with the Teferi and then play Thought Erasure in draw step to take their command. So I think that is going to be that is going to be my pattern. All right, and once again, my apologies if I don't answer all the questions. There's a lot of them, as well as me trying to play well. Yeah, Life Coach says a good thing. They don't want to worry too much about balancing historic. Exactly. Imagine, like, you know, the format is unhealthy, uh, and then that would just be like, oh, we need a ban list now because the format is ranked. Whereas if, if it's a four-fun four format, they might just, you know, don't care. Wow, they found a duress. That is, that is very, very unfortunate for us. That is very unfortunate for us because it means that they're gonna take my, my my command, but most importantly, it means that they still have the command the dreadlord in hand. So that was a very unfortunate hit for us that they got a duress there. It probably mean that we're gonna lose, honestly. Yeah. Alright, so I need to get rid of this Narset. But then again, things are looking very grim right now. Things are looking very grim right now. Andrea, I understand that Wizards wants to make money, but do you really think it's a new eternal format going to stop buying? Yeah, I think so. I think so, at least for you. Like, if you, you know, if you're one of those people that don't want to spend too much money, you're going to be like, oh, you know, I have eternal. I can I can make my quest that way, you know? Whereas that, I don't, you know, I, I can qualify for the Mythic Championship that way, you know? They don't want people to qualify for the Mythic Championship by playing a format that doesn't, all right, uh, I think I'm gonna keep on plusing here. I know that if I put in draws a land, I'm very likely to be dead. Yeah, that is going to be, that's gonna be too tough. Yeah, I think I just, I should have just cashed it in this, but it's fine. Also, the other topper should have topped me. No, it's fine, I can still put the double this part. Hello, Mr. Manguchi. Hello, yeah. Free Freak is a uh, brand else, and it is. It's, play it's playing. It's playing for Color Dreadlord. That is a deck that was pretty real uh, back in the format. I played this deck three times in the in the MPL weekly, uh, but then uh, you know the the, the deck kind of disappeared because uh, people started adopting more Command Dreadlord in their deck. Look at Champ. They can always add fancy styles and avatars for people playing those formats. I understand, but why? And I, I the thing that I, I think I think the best answer was given to you by Life Coach. Is that they just want to people to make sure that their cards don't go to waste, but they don't really want to use too much uh, resources in uh, making the format, you know, balanced and out. Because you remember this when they make play this. Wow, Elder Spell. I'm not gonna lose this. I'm not gonna win this game, guys. Because they can just. Ooh, yeah. The auto top right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe he screwed them. I guess they wanted to find a land to get the fairy down. But basically, when they make cards in R&D, they, they make cards in the, in the idea of, of standard. They don't make the cards in the idea of a format that they didn't think it was, it was happening, you know? Maybe I, should have, maybe I should have killed that thing. I guess I have four cards only, so it's okay. The cards are waste because nobody will play them. I mean, if, if, a, if a form from format comes up, I'm happy to play it with my old cards. If, like, Singleton or, or stuff like that comes up, I'm happy to play them. Any ideas for M20 standard? Yes. Uh, ooh, that, that, is, that, is, that is what I was looking for. And I'm happy that my Teferi is still down. Because if I minus three earlier, I would have just drawn a land. And my Teferi would have gone. All right. So now I think we can maybe... It'll still be very hard. Very, very hard. But I'll, I'll try my best. So now my opponent will go for... Uh, We'll go for some uh, Elder Spell action. I think putting Rank Ladder is... I mean, I explained my my thoughts already about why I shouldn't be a Rank Ladder, so I'm gonna stop. I'm not usually one of those people that keep on using the same arguments over and over. What do you think of Is It Phoenix? Uh, I think it's a good deck. I personally dislike how inconsistent it is. I usually am a fan of like this mid-range decks like both Jade Lair Ranger or now I think this is slightly better than that. But I guess that deck has an edge in the mirror. I usually don't play like, you know, decks like uh, decks like these. 
but it's totally reasonable and it's a deck that one of the few deck that in my opinion has uh, a good matchup game one against this deck all right i'm gonna just pass the turn here i did top my oath of kaya but that's because they have narset which we really need to minus on that now people aren't playing red a lot indeed People are not playing red a lot because mono red uh, in the format gets always bad late game. In the later, in the, the, the late of the format, mono red is always usually a bad choice because the metagame adapts to it, whereas mono red can't adapt. So we can't play Oath of Kaya, we can't play Basilica Bellhound, and etc. But they can't really play much more than that. They, they're what they're already playing with their uh, Tibalt and such. So mono red is usually good in the early game of every format and then gets bad later in the game. Brad is playing for Carlo. For four color, four color dread horde. Wasn't fun, yeah. And that's why you know four color is now very good. Okay, so I keep on fighting. That it's very unlikely that I'm win, but I do have command dread horde in my deck, and that card can single handedly just win every game. They do have rask in their hands, so my search it's at damage. So I'm just gonna pass the turn here at risk. Sorry. Hi Andre, how you're doing? I'm doing fine, doing fine. We got into this sweet game against the uh, F Freak. Got a stream ad for Cheetos on KFC. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the stream ad uh, are not under my control, so you can get you 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 can get you can get fast food stream indeed. But if you wanna get Real Manguchi Cuisine, Real Manju oh, wait, 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 Real, where is it? Real Manguchi Cuisine, you can go on my Twitter, at Mango09, and you can find some wonderful and lovely dinner that we had last night in the Manguchi Terrace with a, a barbecue and a, some sweet appetizer, as well as a lovely picture of me and my girlfriend, but that's another story. All right, so we need to basically just concede the game. Yeah, I guess I can leave for another to live. I can leave to live another turn here. So I'll dispark that. How excited are you for the Italian Legacy GP? I'm very excited. When Channel Fireball told me, I was uh, over the moon. All right, I have nine cards in my bin, so they have to go. Vras can kill the surge, which will mean that they will slow down, slow things down. People will play mono red again when M20 comes because new deck exactly R7. You got the point of metagaming standard. People will try to play some Grixis Bolas, like I'm excited to do this afternoon with the early access of M20, and then mono red will be good again. You know, that that's exactly the format. The format, the standard format is like that. A lot of cool decks happen at the beginning. Mono red just pushes them, and then later in the game, usually the mid range deck. Uh, the mid range deck take over. All right. Uh, now the question is, what do I want to do with my with my with my cards? They have a command draw in hand, so I need to draw. I need to draw a a card, and I want to tap in a way where if I top deck a elder spell, I'll, I'll be able to cast it. Even though, even though, it probably won't matter. Maybe the best is just if I find thought erasure. Kaya's wrath, I find so not quite thought erasure, but I'm still gonna fight because again. Unless, like, incredibly bad things happen this turn, I can't still top deck the second Commander Dreader. But if you remember, this game, uh, we were all we were about to win, and then the Duress just knocked us the win there. Siki won yesterday Phantom Legend with Mono Red. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know why, sorry. <laughs> I I thought that this matchup, this deck, my Esper Control, had an incredibly good matchup against Mono Red. I guess just people play a lot of other things. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I was very I was very happy with this deck against Mono Red. This this is the deck that I played at the Mythic Championship last last week. In Vegas. Are you playing with M20 uh, this stream or later? Uh net later. Unfortunately the the uh what is called the, the entry the event. Wow, I did nothing this turn? How is that? I say. Wow, why did I didn't that's I'm missing something now. All right, I guess, yeah. Oh, I understand. Take a look at what my opponent's doing here. So they they, they want to make sure that they can't top deck. This is very, very, very subtle play, but it's important that you realize it. So my opponent had Commander Dreadlord, okay? But what they did was not just cast it. 
and then give me the option to draw Commanded Dreador into Elder Spell or something. That just plus the Fairy and pass the turn, so that if I top deck Commanded Dreador, they will answer with their own Commanded Dreador. Okay, guys? So it is a very subtle play, but it is a play that makes a player great. Okay? That is a, that is, this is the kind of play that can tell you the difference between a very good player and, you know, just a solid player. Okay? These are the small things, because Magic the Gathering is not a game with a huge, with a huge skill gap. Magic the Gathering is a game where, you know, you could just win a tournament, even if you, you know, are a fine player. But that is, those are the plays that make you 